Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make $164 per day on Google. Um, if you want to know my number one recommendation for making money online, it is the first link in the description below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button if this video has been helpful in any way. But getting started in this video, this method is awesome. It's free to start. You can make a full-time income from your home, your coffee shop, wherever you want to be at uh, with no experience necessary. You can also do this anywhere worldwide. I know that I've had a couple questions uh, prior asking, can I do this here? Can I do this in India? This you can do from any country in the world, which is pretty amazing. Uh, one thing about this method of making money online is you get what you put in. It does take a little bit of work. It's not hard, but if you aren't willing to put the work in, you're not going to be seeing the results that you want to see. So jumping right in, we are going to go to Chrome and search extensions. We're going to look up Facebook Pixel Helper. There it is. All right, you are going to want to download Facebook Pixel Helper. Um, it's free to download, like I said, this is a way to get started um, and it doesn't take any income to get going. So once you have the Facebook Pixel Helper downloaded, you want to go to Google. Personally, I like to Google a location and then just pick one type of niche. Today we are going to use Pennsylvania Scrit and Eye Doctors. And then once you find a few of the businesses that you're looking at, you're going to want to go to their websites. Um, today we're going to use Boyle Eye Specialist. Now you're going to see the P Facebook Pixel Helper right in the corner. Uh, you're going to want to click on it once you get to their website and see if there is a light that lights up which there are no pixels found here. So keep this in your search history as a business that we can possibly help. Um, if it were me, I would look up a few businesses um, just because I like to have my options open. So I'm going to go to Mary Jane. <laughs> I'm going to visit her website too. I'm going to open up a few more businesses. So I'm going to go to more places. And open these up in new tabs for you. I'm going to open up this eye care center. And maybe one more. Crystal Vision Center. Okay, so let's take a look at all of these. Now, like we did before, we're just gonna go over, we're gonna click on our Facebook Pixel Helper and see if it lights up. This one is also a business not using the Facebook Pixel Helper, so it's also an option to be one of our, um, our clients, a customer that we can help. Now let's check out the other two really quick. <clears throat> nope, not using Facebook Pixel Helper. And I can tell really quickly because it will light up. Um, let's check this one last one. And this one also is not using Facebook Pixel Helper. So this is four potential clients that you can have. Now, I knew right off the bat that they weren't using the Facebook Pixel Helper because I've seen uh, websites that have used it, which I'm going to show you what it looks like when a website is using the Facebook Pixel Helper so you know what to look for. So I'm going to show you a website that is using Facebook Pixel Helper, and I'm going to use Click Funnels. There we go. Now, as you can see, my Facebook Pixel Helper has lit up green. It also says two pixels found on googlelead.services.com. 
So they have some pixels running. So this is not a business that we can help. So when you are looking at businesses, if you see ones without the green light, that's a green light to go. If you see the green light, that technically is a stop sign for you. It means do not go there. They are already running Pixel Hopper. And unless you can like combat their prices of whoever they're paying to run their Facebook retargeting ads using the Facebook Pixel Hopper, it's not a good business for you. It's not a good business model to go after. So once you do find businesses that are not using the Pixel, they're not using the Facebook Pixel Hopper, you're gonna wanna contact them about putting a pixel in their website and using um, Facebook retargeting ads to retarget an audience that has already visited their site. Because let's face it, if they've already visited their site, then chances are they're already interested. You're not like cold calling people, sending out advertisements and spending tons of money where it doesn't need to be. These are people that are already interested and are showing interest in the business that they're looking at. Um, it's obviously the most cost-effective way of running an advertising um, campaign with the least amount of money. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit contact, you're going to find their email, and you're going to contact these owners and just tell them that you think you have a plan to help them grow their business and get more customers in their door looking at their website. Once you have your first client, you're going to want to discuss with them exactly what their ad retargeting budget is, um, whether they have $3, $5, $7, sometimes even $10 a day to put towards these Facebook retargeting ads. On top of that, you're going to want to talk to them about how much you are going to charge to embed a pixel into their website. <clears throat> Once you guys have come to some sort of an agreement, you're going to need the client to set up an ad managing account for Facebook as well as giving you uh, their information for their website like what websites they use to create theirs the username and their password because you're going to need that access in order to put a pixel into their website now once you have all of this information we're going to head over to a website called fiber.com Fiverr.com is an incredibly awesome outsourcing website that I love to use when uh, there are things that maybe I'm not even too sure about how to do. You can always find someone here who is a specialist in that field. So now that we're here, we are going to look up Facebook Pixel. And now, as you can see, there are a whole bunch of people here on Fiverr.com who specialize in doing Facebook pixels, as well as setting up retargeting ads on Facebook. Retargeting ads on Facebook is a skill that is hard to master. So this is something that I would definitely suggest that you outsource with. Um, as you can see, their pricing is really reasonable too. So you can take a portion of what you charged your client to pay for someone else to do the work for you, which all ties into the beginning of the video when I told you that you need no experience to be able to really excel at this, this way of making money online. So let's just quickly take a look at, I will install Facebook's pixels and set up marketing remarketing audiences. They have 4.9 stars and 117 reviews. So if this were me, this is who I would initially look at. Now they have one day delivery. Um, I will install the base page view pixel and or one standard event, which is exactly what we're looking for. And the pixel setup itself is only $10. So your ability to make money at this is incredible. If you are contacting, say, 10 businesses a day and you're only getting maybe two every other day, but you're charging, I don't even know, a couple hundred dollars, but you're only paying $10 to install the pixel, that's incredible. You have to also remember that you are not paying for these ads out of 
your payment from these clients. These clients need to have an ad budget as well as your payment. And it's as easy as that, guys. Um, let's go over exactly how easy and quick this is going to be and just go over the steps one more time. Step one is you're going to go to Chrome. You are going to ex install an extension called Facebook Pixel Helper. Once you've installed Facebook Pixel Helper, then you're going to figure out what kind of niche you're going to get into, which we picked, like, um, I think we picked eye doctors this time. So you're going to go there, you're going to Google whatever it is, say it's eye doctors, and then when you get the list on Google, you're going to start clicking on their websites. When you go to their website, if they do not have a light pop up in the Facebook Pixel Helper, then that is a business that needs your help. So once you get a few of those set up, you're going to want to create a like custom email and keep it saved into your computer so it's easy to just bang it out when you contact them. So you're going to contact all of those businesses whose light did not show up. Um, eventually you're going to have someone contact you back and say, hey, we really love your help. Like, what do you have to offer? So once you have that, you're going to make an agreement with them. You're going to receive your payment. Once you've received your payment, you're going to have right over to Fiverr and you're going to look at Facebook Pixel. You're going to find somebody who installs Facebook Pixels on websites and you're going to get the, uh, the Facebook Pixel installed and then you're also going to try and have them run your ad retargetings on Facebook. <clears throat> and it's as easy as that, guys. It's really simple. It's easy. It has. You need no money to get going. You need absolutely no experience. And you can do this from home. You can do it from a coffee shop. You can do it from anywhere. Um, but if you want to know my number one recommendation for making money online, it is the first link in the description below. Thanks again, guys.